What's up, what's up, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel, man. Offset Chugging. Yo, before I even get through it, man, hey, I realize there's a lot of people, man, under my comment, under my, on my channel, man, that keep going under my comment, trying to be smart, you know, trying to think that they can outsmart me, trying to talk slick under my videos, man. But hey, I guess this is what it is, man. Everybody can't like you, man. And I'm gonna tell you this, man. I don't know if you do have that. Not every, I realize not everybody on your channel, or everybody that's so-called supporting you really like you, man, okay? You gotta have some people that, you know, that's here to talk slick, okay? So, this is how it is, man. But for those that's be, that's be talking slick, thinking that you can get under my skin or whatever, Hey, but guess what? You're going to keep commenting, man. Keep leaving comment, and I might ignore you, man. Keep ignoring you. If your comment don't make sense to me, I'm going to ignore it. And if it's that bad and I see you getting attention for ignoring me or trying to outsmart me, I'm going to delete your comment. Point blank, man. So either you like it or not. That's just how it is, man. But let's get straight to it, man. Um, I pick up a passenger, man. I was doing lift and stuff. I pick up this passenger. Um, I pick up my at a at a truck stop. I see the guy. Seems real cool. We talk, we talk, man. So we are talking about trucking, man. He'd be telling me that hey, right now the the industry sucks. Right now, there's not really there's not really nothing going on, man. And he's be talking to me about his paycheck. Like he don't think it's really worth it right now. Okay. I'm like, man, and he, and he was complaining about him being OTO and stuff. I'm like, how long you been driving? It's like, how long you had your CDL? You know, how long you been out there? Like, he said he had the CDL for two years. I'm like, two years, man. You way, 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 way more qualified, like, for a local job, man. Why don't you get a local job? Since you say you're not really okay with the whole, you know, with the whole OTO thing. It was like, nah, I had my CDL for two years, but I just started driving. If it makes sense, right? So I guess he went he went on and got his CDL. He wasn't really focused about it. So now he started driving. I'm like, oh, okay, man. But in my mind, I'm like, you still can go to your, you still can go over to um local, you know. As long as they see you have your CDL for two years, man, shoot, just slide to the muffle, man. But hey, hey, hey. If you feel like you're not really ready to drive, you need some training, do it. That's perfectly fine. Do it, go out there, get some training. And when you feel like after two, three months, you feel like you really can't take care of the truck. Hey, if you don't like the OTR, man, just go, you know, just go apply for local. They, they will hire you. They will be happy to hire you, okay? So, then while we were talking and he was telling me a story, man, he was like, he had his friend, that's the truck driver too. And he said one day his friend was driving, right? And he said his friend told him that I don't know he probably like caught he probably caught the caught off like um caught in front of a four wheeler or something like that in the wrong way and and it was like his friend was like I didn't have no choice but I felt sorry about it and I said I said um I said sorry to the guy I don't know how he said sorry to the guy to the four wheeler but he said I said sorry to the guy or whatever but the guy it wasn't enough for the guy the guy went tried went on and passed him and get in front of him and every 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 little minute the guy keep pressing his brake in front of the truck you know so that way it has the truck driving you keep pressing your brake too and it's annoying it's like the guy doing that like for three times right keep pressing his brake in front of him and it was like after a while the guy was like man the truck driver was like you know what i'm tired of it i'm tired of it and he said um on the fourth time when the when the when the four wheeler was you know breaking in front of him like that way he trying to get the truck driver to hit him or something he's like the truck driver was like fuck it man fuck it he said his friend just ran like while he's doing that like the four wheeler stopped boom and his friend just Boom, it just hit the four wheeler, like push him out the way. I'm like, really, bro? He did that? He's like, yeah. Then after that, when he stopped, 
it stopped, right? It called the police and the police come and he said his friend told the police everything, everything that happened. Like, you know, like the man was like, the four was keep breaking in front of me, trying to make me get into an accident or trying to, or whatever. Then, hey, it is what it is. I hit them, but I got the footage and everything that you say. This is what what's crazy about the story, man. He said his friend was like, um, the, the cop was like, man, really? Just go ahead, man. Go ahead. But he said that his truck didn't have nothing. Cause I get they got the old big old, you know when them trucks have them big old like um how you call them thing, man? It's like fender. I don't know, man. The big old thing in front of the trucks that's protect the the the, the front of the truck. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So Boom! He hit, he hit the small, the the four wheeler, and then the cop was like, he told the cop, "Hey, I got the footage. I can show you that this guy was, you know, was doing this on purpose. This guy wanted me to hit him so bad, and he keep breaking in front of me, stuff like that." And he was like, "Man, the cops was like, just go, man, just go." I'm like, "Damn, man, he was lucky. He got with a shoot. Sure, that was a cool cop, you know. Even though." The four wheeler was at fault though, because if you keep breaking in front of a truck, that's mean you're looking for something. You're looking to get hit. You're looking for something. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, he told me that the guy, his friend, just hit that motherfucker and get him out the, <laughs> get him out of the way, man. But hey, yeah. I thought it was funny, so I'm like, man, I gotta tell you guys that story, man, because I think it was funny, you know. But. Let me guys, let me know, man. Like, would you do that? Would you, you know, if somebody, a four-wheeler keep breaking in front of you like that on purpose, you know, and giving you the finger and all that, would you do that? Or would you just stop the truck in the middle? I don't know. Trying to avoid the whole situation. And sometimes when you try to avoid the whole situation, changing lane, the four-wheeler might change the lane too and do the same thing again. So what would you do in that situation? What would you do? All right, make sure you comment, man. Comment. Let me know what would you do, man. Um, like, if it's your first time, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, yeah, I'm out.